Hello and welcome back to Bannerlord. Now we're speaking to this fellow from Skorin. If you remember Skorin, then I applaud you because this is a village from the very beginning of the series, or one of the first episodes of the series where we were spending quite a bit of our time. And we're going to be doing a task for this fellow. This is the Family Feud Quest. <laughs> yeah, Family Feud Quest. I will protect your relative and help him on this matter personally. All right, 681 gold. He is hiding somewhere here. Go talk to him. All right, so... Kiroslava is also here. Is it Siva? I think I would assume it's Siva because there's just uh, one uh, one name. Yes, there we go. So he is over in this direction. I'm very pleased I have a horse. Not so pleased there's a huge amount of trees and a fence. Hello, fence. Just uh, don't mind me and a nice little... And a nice little mosey around the fence because I totally didn't crash into that and didn't mean to jump. Obviously, I did. I didn't. Didn't mean to jump at all. No, no. Jumping was not my goal. <laughs> yes, it was. Okay, so this guy obviously is going to be the new. <laughs> uh, what, what is his name? Pelosia? Yeah, I keep forgetting the guy's name even. Okay, yeah, that's great. Hello there. I've talked with you. Yes, I will protect you. I've talked with your relative. And now he has joined us. All right. So now we are going to go to the to the village. And this is going to be pretty easy money for us. Or it should be. I hope it is going to be. So we need to take him to Chornobus. Chornobus to face Kiroslav of Chornobus. Okay. And try to, uh, try to solve this peacefully. Which, well, you know me. Probably not going to happen. Oh yeah, by the way, I disbanded the party that I created in the previous episode. It did not work out well. And the reason for that is because it was draining my resources way, way too fast. Basically what you need to do is you need to have a good economy first. If you don't have a good economy, you're basically going to bankrupt yourself very, very quickly by having an additional party and uh, I have heard that it is a bit bugged where the companions just tend to stay around some random areas and don't really do uh, don't really do too much. Anyway, we're going to go and we're going to speak to him. Hopefully uh, this guy now being in our list right next. Is he right? That's Kiroslava, is, isn't it? I still don't know how to do this. Uh, my apologies. Is it this? Do I, do I just do this way? Leave in settlement. There we go. And now we can speak to the guy, right? Maybe that's going to work? Ah, there we go. There we go. Will, Will, what do we got here? Have you come to your own funeral? Wait, we have come to talk. Just listen to us, please. You evil bastard. I knew we would find you some way. Now you will be facing justice. Okay, well, hold your horses. This lad is now under our protection. We have come to talk in peace. What there is to talk? This bastard murdered one of my kinsmen, and it is all right to take vengeance on him. Um, yeah, you're right. You're free to deliver justice <laughs> as you see fit. I'm gonna say I'm not convinced. I will protect the accused until he see reason. You will regret pushing your nose into issues that don't concern you. No matter. You're welcome to die with him then. Boys, kill them all. All right, uh, Kiroslava is going to say hi to you because let's just say that she is an absolute beast. Can I get off my horse? Okay, how are we doing here? How, how, how are we doing here? Did I fail? Yep. Uh, yes, I will not ever do any of these again. Let's just say that. I was on my horse. I did not expect a fight. I thought I'd be able to maybe convince them or something like that. And uh, obviously Kiroslava was not able to defeat multiple people at the same time. So, yeah. That did not work out very well at all. Let's just let's just ignore that, you know. Let's just ignore that. Okay, so I'm not going to do a family feud quest ever again. That has just literally put me off that entire thing so yeah it would have been nice because I, w I actually wanted the cash 
And speaking of cash, I'm actually going to sell this Destrier right here for 900. And what I'm going to do is we're going to take a walk around the town center because what I would like is to get a caravan up and running. And I'm hopeful that I will be able to make it work. I don't know how it works right now because obviously I haven't done it before, but I would very much like to try it and see if we can make a little bit of extra cash. So let's see if I can uh, maybe spawn myself in a different position because I don't really want to spawn outside the walls. There we go. That's much better. And now I need to find uh, the brewer guy, I guess, because uh, he's going to be the one doing a little bit of uh, yeah, this guy, I guess. Hello. My friend, it's been a while. So then, what is it? I wish to form a caravan in this town. There we go. A caravan you form will do this for you. You need to pay at least 15,000 to hire 29 caravan guards to form a caravan, and you need one companion to lead the caravan guards. Right. I accept these conditions. All right, so we're going to have uh, Lise, I suppose, because she's the one that's also available to create a party with. So Lise will be the one to do that. I will call my men to help you form a caravan. I hope it brings you a good profit. If it doesn't, I'm going to come and see you. I'm going to leave a horse's head in your bed. No, no. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to do that, but there you go. That is a decent amount of cash to spend. And i got to say, I'm a little bit worried about it, to be honest. But, uh, well, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, I'd like to go and maybe do a little bit of game playing, if at all possible. So, I'm going to try my hardest to actually win this game. And then we will boot up the well we'll make the difficulty much much higher and then we will try to bet on it so let's see i will be white all right let's do this all right so i'm gonna just take my time on this whole thing because i am very skeptical that i'll be able to do okay here i think this is a good move right here Oh, that was a terrible move, as is to be the case from me, isn't it? Okay. I won. Wow. Did you see that? Wow. That's actually pretty crazy. Okay. Yeah. I just had to concentrate a little bit there. And I thought that I was going to uh, pretty much do super badly, but we actually uh, pulled out a victory against all odds. Can you believe it? All right. So I am going to be changing the difficulty now. And uh, can I bet on normal difficulty? Aha. Uh -huh. I'll play at the hardest level then. All right. So let's place a bet of 200. Okay. Let's do it. I'll be white again. Okay, we'll, we'll start in the same exact way. Well, I ended up losing that one, but I actually don't think I did that badly, but, oh well, never mind, okay. So we did win the practice round, but that was obviously on easy difficulty, and on the hard difficulty, well, we kind of lost, but I don't really mind about that too much, because I think, uh, I think I'm getting a bit more of the hang of it, which I think is quite nice, but anyway, we're just going to continue recruiting some troops here, and I think I'm probably going to go and, oh, oh, wait a minute. 
Shall we... Shall we go and help her? Shall, shall we, uh... It, it, it might make sense. It, I'm, go I'm gonna see, actually. Is she gonna get, get attacked by random stuff now, or... Oh, now I'm now I'm worried. Now I'm worried about her, to be honest, because I, I don't really want her to get murdered. But maybe she won't. Maybe she'll be okay. I mean, look, there she is. She seems to be doing all right so far. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess, uh, I guess what I'll do is I will walk up here. But uh, I guess I'm going to just fight some people in the area and we'll just see how much money she's actually going to make. There's some Sea Raiders. There's only three of them. That's kind of pointless. I'm hopeful that we might be able to find larger parties of Sea Raiders. That would be the best possible thing for us to do. Oh, there you go. Oh, she's doing stuff. She's doing stuff. Did you see that? Yeah. Ooh, it's looking good. Okay, so we got some looters right here. There's 14. Uh, not exactly great. But we will try to level up a couple of our troops. I'm actually just going to send troops against these guys. And yeah, we did take a couple of wounded. But as you can see, there we go. We, uh, we did achieve a victory. And that was very quick, very easy. And as you can see, look at all my people leveling up. Yeah, so sending them in by themselves does seem to have a pretty decent effect for us too. So pretty happy with that. Let's see if we can... Uh, is there a level all function? I don't think there is a level all function. So going to have to just select them normally. We've got some Imperial recruits here for some reason. Not entirely sure why I have those. But uh, yeah, anyway... Uh, clan warriors. Let's go for some clan warriors instead of the wood runners for now. And then we also have raiders. So let's continue going for skirmishers. Go for warriors. And there we have it. Okay. Seems pretty good. And that might actually be something that we want to continue doing, actually. Continue doing those kind of... Uh, I know that someone said it's not auto-resolve. But uh, it kind of is reminiscent of auto-resolve to me. So I'm just going to call it auto-resolve. But even if it's not auto-resolve, if you know what I mean. So... You know, just bear with me, because it is just technically sending the sending the troops in to do the damage. And there we go. We, we did suffer nine casualties, but they are just wounded, and that is not a big deal. That actually seems pretty good to me. And we'll just loot the rest of the loot, and we will then go and sell it right over here in the town, which I think is actually pretty cool. And, ah, needs help with sea raiders. We might actually be able to do that. But we do have quite a few people that are wounded right now. So what I will do is I will just sell all of this stuff. And I'm going to buy a step horse. There we go. Okay, yeah. So we're going to just wait here for some time. If the quest is still available in a day's time, then I will take it and we will attempt to complete it. But if it is not, then that's just how it was. And uh, there you go. So I'm just going to wait a little bit past noon. And there we go. Okay, so it is actually still here. So let's take it and see exactly what she needs us to do. Because bear in mind that our caravan is continuing to walk around, continuing to make money, or at least I hope it's continuing to make money. And uh, hopefully we'll see some profits from it relatively shortly. Anyway, she owns a brewery here. I know your name. Do you need some help? Three groups of sea raiders. Sure, I'll hunt down three groups of sea raiders. That seems pretty easy, actually. Uh, I'm going to eat those words. Don't worry. I'm going to eat those words very, very soon indeed. Okay, so let me see. Let me see those sea raiders. Ah, yes, of course. Okay, well, let's go over here and uh, we'll see if we can maybe find some. Because someone said that they are in the northwest. Am I in the northwest right now? No, I am not. I am in the... Well, northeast, I guess. Uh, I can only hope that I might find some. Forest bandits, not good enough. Uh, yeah. I'm going to need to fight the massive band of forest bandits to be able to make any money. Because, as you can see, there's actually wages for Lise. Is oh, no, for Lise's caravan. I did not realize that. Okay, that is pretty bad. I am in a bad situation right now. We're going to have to do something here. Okay, so let us tackle these forest bandits. Then we're going to have to rush back. We're going to have to rush back to the town. Sell everything that we can. And then 
see what we can do. Uh, I, and you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm actually going to get a spear. I know. <laughs> I know. Probably not the best idea for me to get a spear right now, but uh, yeah. I'm going to get a spear, and we're going to try and see what we can do about it. I'm going to try and see if we can use it to good effect against uh, enemies like this. So here's the thing. I'm going to move my forces like so. We're going to move the... Move the archers over there. There's some weird stuff. Oh yeah, that's actually snow, isn't it? Oh, that is actually snow being kicked up by the horses. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so we're just going to tell these guys to attack. And we will tell our cavalry to charge in. And I'm going to try and disrupt the enemy a little bit. There we go. A little bit of extra damage for us right there. And our archers will hopefully be doing some damage as well. Are they? They're not doing anything. Okay. That is not really working out too well for us then, is it? No. Kind of weird. Now they're firing. All right. <laughs> now they're firing. You see that? That is actually kind of strange. I had them hold position. I don't know why they didn't fire, but apparently they didn't fire. But, yeah, oh well, never mind. It's not really a big deal, because the more units we lose at this point, the less wages that we have to, to actually pay. And uh, we did plunder quite a bit of cash, which is always good. And, um, whoa, this is actually quite a, quite, a, quite a nice lot of stuff. So, pretty happy about this. Anything here that I can give to someone else that is actually going to be better? Yep, there we go. And what about Kiroslava? She could maybe use something. She could use some better gloves, I guess. And uh, there's actually a spear. She's actually using a spear. So, I think I'm going to take that spear from her. And I will give that to me instead of one set of throwing weapons. Oh, I didn't even take the loot. Ah, big mistake. Big mistake because I was thinking to myself I had already taken it. Great. Uh, classic. Classic me. Classic. All right. Never mind. Never mind. Hopefully the caravan is actually going to be giving me some money because I have not seen anything of it yet. And I, it, it has only taken money from me at this point. Oh, there's some sea raiders. Okay, that's actually fantastic. Let's fight some sea raiders. Vlandians, swordsmen, I guess I'll go for. And we'll go for some more spearmen from the Sturgeons. Oh, yeah. Oh, these guys level up into something amazing. Very good. I don't have enough cash. Yeah, what a classic. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a huge amount of sea raiders. Oh, yeah, don't don't attack me right now, please. Thank you very much. Okay, so those sea raiders are going to get attacked in just a second. I am going to lock these throne weapons. Oh, I can't believe I did not take that loot. Wow, that is really, really bad. Yeah, don't get annoyed at me for that because that was that was totally not my fault. It was, I know. <laughs> uh, totally my fault. Okay, so roguery trade advancing. That's okay. And we can now fight these sea raiders. I have 30% HP. Really not very good. But we will be fighting them nevertheless. Where is my caravan's profit? Because a number of you have suggested that I do a caravan. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll do a caravan. And what is happening... It's not giving me anything. So... What's going on? What's going on with that? I don't know. So, yeah. Maybe I should have just gone for the Enterprise. That, um, you know, that might have made more sense. It is a safer option, in my opinion, at least. So, maybe that would have been an idea. Ah, oh well, never mind. Okay, so we're just going to tell these guys... To ch we're just going to tell everyone to charge apart from the archers. The archers can just stand here and just shoot at the enemy. And uh, I will try to bring out my spear. And we'll try and do some damage with it. And there we go. Nice little, little bit of damage right there. And kind of makes me wish I'd spent a little bit of time leveling up my pole arms. Because if I'm going to continue using a spear, then that might be quite advantageous for us. But uh, there you go. That's an easy, easy win for us. And we're probably going to be able to uh, take... Wow. Take a lot of them prisoners too. Very nice. 
And we do get a whole bunch of very nice stuff. I'm gonna probably, should I take this? The length is really good. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll use that instead of the one that I was using beforehand. It does more damage. And what about a shield? Anyone need this shield? She's using a terrible shield, so she can definitely use that. And we'll take the rest. Seems good to me. All right, so there's five Sea Raiders there, or three. I guess we'll just attack the three, and we'll just do an auto-resolve. And that will be that. Because we need to be a bit quick here, you know? We need to be a bit quick. So let's just send the troops. There we go. Did all right. A little bit of renown here and there. Oh. Oh, hello. This is a very nice helmet for us. Very nice indeed. Okay, so let's use that. And we will loot everything else. I'm going to have to actually give my bear head to Kiraslava. I think that it would probably suit her the best. So she's going to wear the bear head. And... This is actually better for Alaska as well. And Jin doesn't really need anything else by the looks of things. She's using a bow as well, which is actually pretty good. All right. So, yeah, that's absolutely fine. You have hunted the uh, two out of three. Yes, that's very good. Okay, so this is the last one. And we're going to be attacked by... Oh, no, no, no. We're not actually being attacked by any more than that. Okay, so that's fine. Should I send troops just uh, straight on in there? Mm, that's probably not a good idea. Let's just go in and fight the battle manually because I'm a bit worried about losing random units yeah, at this point. So let's see what I can do here. Archer is going to go into position. And uh, as I've said before, it will probably be a good idea for us to literally just charge straight on in. Just let our archers do their thing on top of this hill right here and just let everyone else just charge. Because at this point... We want to get these guys out the way as soon as possible. Oh, nice damage. Nice. Look at that. 55 damage. Yeah, spears generally are going to be fantastic to use on horseback. I mean, we know that already. You know, it is a thing. <laughs> it is a very, very big thing. And definitely something I should, probably should have thought about. Mm. Considering I did play the uh, multiplayer beta of Bannerlord and spears were fantastic there kind of makes sense doesn't it yes it certainly does oh well never mind okay so hopefully we're going to get a good plunder mm, not bad oh, they have rescued troops are you serious okay give me all of these thank you i will take all of those even though they're going to now cost me even more in weekly wages but uh i guess it's better than uh better than not taking them that's for sure all right, so that's pretty cool, and we've done that. So we gained 843 gold, which is great. And now I'm wondering where my money is. Where's my money? <laughs> where's my money, uh, Lise? Where, where is my money? Because we're not, unfortunately, getting it for some reason. Oh, uh, yes. Also, you do need horses to be able to upgrade units into cavalry. So we're probably not going to be using cavalry that much anyway. I mean, that was not my plan. I, my plan was not to use any cavalry whatsoever, apart from a couple. And uh, yeah, so don't really mind about that. As you can see, this actually creates an imperial equite, which is obviously a uh, horse unit, and you need a horse for it. Okay, so let's just level a couple of those. Sturgeon Archer. And Imperial Recruit can level up as well. You know, I think we're actually getting pretty close to the point where I might actually be able to besiege something. Now, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> are you really going to be able to do that, Reformist? Or, or you're not? Yeah, mm, that's the thing. It really just depends. Because at the time when I have 77 maximum army size, I think I might be able to take a small settlement somewhere. Uh, but as it stands right now, it is looking pretty unlikely. At least at the moment. I, I think we might have a very good chance if we find something that's weakened. And I actually would do want to speak to uh, the lords around here as well and see if I can maybe become a vassal of the thing, the faction that I actually want to join. And uh, you'll see exactly what I mean about that. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can already tell. You're a smart person. You can already tell where I want to go and what I want to do, can't you? Yes, I think you can. Anyway... Let's see if we can maybe find someone to speak to around here. And there, there, there is a guy. Hello. Can I speak to you? 
Oh, there's actually two of them. Okay. Could, could I... Ah, he went inside. Of course he did. Okay, do you think I can go and speak to him in here? I might be able to. So, go to the keep. Ah, oh, I have to pay a 550 gold bribe to be able to do that? Ah, oh, of course, of course. Okay, let's just go into the smithy first then, because I do have a lot of stuff, as you can see right here. But unfortunately, I don't have any charcoal, and I don't have any hardwood to do any smelting, which is actually pretty bad. So let's go into the trade window here, because no doubt they're going to have some hardwood available. Yeah, they have a huge amount of it. And, uh, oh, there's, a, there's actually a cow here. There's actually a cow here. I guess we'll sell the cow, and we might sell a bit of this wrought iron as well. As you can see, it actually sells for... What? We're so... It sells for that much? Okay, that's actually kind of amazing. Uh, okay, give me give me more money, please. Give me more money. Yes, I am going to need it. <laughs> oh, I, I went a bit crazy there. Wait, wh where's all my... Uh... Oh, yeah, I've, I'm only looking at miscellaneous. Of course, I'm only looking at miscellaneous because I was thinking to myself, where did all my horses go? There they are. Yeah, a bit silly on my part. Okay, so let's buy some of that hardwood, like I said. Gonna buy a whole bunch. And then we'll do a little bit of extra smithing as well. So let me see. So we need to refine it first. How much does that actually take? It takes about six energy every single time. So I'm just gonna do quite a, quite a bunch, you know, quite a bit of it. And then we're gonna do the jagged spear. We're gonna do the other spear. Gonna do the other spear, and then we'll do the wooden hammer. Ah, oh, we can't do that anymore. But now we have a whole bunch of hardwood, a lot of charcoal, and we can then make good use of it next time we have a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, materials and energy and so on. Anyway, artisans can't sell their products. Mm hmm. Do I want to do this? I've got a pretty decent amount of cash right now, so do I want to do that? Not sure. How how is uh, how is Lise doing? Caravan of Lise the wronged exceed gold one hundred and forty eight. Okay. Uh, apparently. Oh yeah. Oh, that actually reminds me. Someone actually mentioned in the comments that caravans take about a week to start making you money, and it has not been a week yet. So I'm still thinking that we're, we're going to be quite hopeful because if I've spent 15,000 on something that is not going to give us any cash, then that is a grave disappointment. A very, very grave disappointment. But I, I think we should be all right. So let's just go over here and see what we can do about selling all of our prisoners. And we'll get our roguery and trade and so on and so forth up. And do I have any skills to actually advance, by the way? Because I think I've done quite a bit to... Maybe gain something. Ah, we're going to be gaining this. One extra thrown weapon per pack. You know, I'm kind of thinking I should just use bows. Uh, I mean, here's the thing. Thrown weapons are super fun for me, and I very much like them. But the problem is, they're very limited, shall we say. They're very limited. So unless you have exceptional skills in other ways, which I don't, then you might want to choose something else. Anyway, ah, 16 units of hardwood to my contact Kara the Lamb. Yes, sure. I will definitely do that. Oh, that this seems like a great idea. Okay, I'm pretty happy to do this. And I think we're going to be getting a pretty decent amount of cash as well. And maybe we can look out for some vassals along the way. I think that might seem like a pretty decent idea. Okay, so this guy's going to give me... Uh, no, I don't... No, no, that's just robbery under the cover of law. I'm not giving you anything. Okay, so criminal rating with search... <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, people are not liking me now. Maybe I should have given them the... Maybe I should have given them that stuff? Uh, oh, they all hate me. They all hate... Oh, dear. Yeah, that might have been a mistake. That might have. Might have, yes. Okay. Well, whatever the case, I'm, I'm going to stand by it. We are a criminal now, and uh, we will be hiding in the mountains next to Balgard. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, thankfully, it's not that far away, and I should be able to speak to... Who do I need to speak to for this? 
Uh, Kara the Lamb. Okay, Kara the Lamb. There we go. She is a gang leader, so yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, hopefully she's going to give me some good money. Does she give me good money? Hopefully. All right. Uh, there we go. About the task Tania the Dyer gave me. There we go. We're expecting the hardwood. 915. I have the goods right here. There we go. 915 gold. I guess that's all right, but we did lose a huge amount of relation with everyone in the, in, in the town, and that is not particularly good. As you can see, it has, it, 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 it's reduced even more now. It's reduced even more. Oh dear. I might need to do something about that. Okay, so Army of Poachers was one of the quests that uh, was giving me issues beforehand. So... Uh, I'm, I'm going to actually just leave here real quick. I heard you may need some help with a problem. What can I do for you? I want you to crush them. Go to Marabrot. Okay, capable companions. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. They transfer a huge amount of goods at midnight. Okay, that's absolutely fine. So this time around, we're not going to let the poachers go. And we're not going to try and convince them. We're just going to attack them. Because if we attack them, we're going to get a good amount of cash. And according to some of you, uh, that cash can be about 2,000. And I would definitely like 2,000. I would definitely like 2,000 to enter my coffers. Thank you very much. So how is my caravan doing now? So my caravan is now at 232 gold. All right, her wages are not being paid for yet, so hopefully that will happen soon. And I'm now going to have to wait here for some time until midnight. So let us engage the poachers. Let's do it. We're going to gain a lot of leather from this, as far as I'm aware. And uh, I think I can basically just charge everyone in. I don't think we really need to worry about them too much, and these guys are archers. So I am just going to charge everyone in because we are in a very heavily densely populated area full of trees and uh, it's going to be kind of harsh for us so I'm just going to get out my spear and see what I can do to them see if I can harass them a little bit and my units are taking quite a bit of time to get over there which is to be expected so I kind of don't want to get my horse killed oh hello yeah they're actually pretty good they actually do uh, quite a bit of damage but hopefully my cavalry will be okay a little bit of damage there. Oh, okay. Come on now. <laughs> oh, they're so accurate. What's going on with these guys? They're so incredibly accurate. Oh, I have a Vlandian Knight? Apparently I have a Vlandian Knight. Who knew? That's pretty cool. And I'm... Well... Dead. But at least Laska gained a skill point. And uh, is now 43. And I think she also gained level. Believe it or not. So that's actually pretty cool. But yeah, classic Barney. Absolutely classic Barney. We did get 22, uh, 22. I always think 22 for some reason. 2.2 renown. It would have been great if it was 22. But uh, anyway, there you go. We are going to be gaining some leather now. As you can see, we're gaining 11 of it, which is actually pretty nice. And they're going to sell for a decent amount too. So I'm pretty happy with that. And we have completed the quest. So does that mean I have to go back to speak to him now? No, no, that's actually it. All right. There is also a hideout going on here. I think that is a Sea Raider hideout. Yes, it is. They have a lot of people right there, so probably not the best idea for me to try and attack it right now. And my daily change is even worse. Oh, it is even worse. Escort Merchant Caravan. Okay, so I think I might be able to do that. Maybe. I might be able to, so maybe we'll do something about that. Uh, as we go forward here. So let's just smelt a couple of this. There we go. Harpoon. Yes, we still got a lot of charcoal. And there we go. Okay, so that's it. I have no more stamina remaining. All right, well, I've got 10 left, but uh, I don't think I can do too much with that. Let's get some more Sturgeon units. And okay, not bad. So how, how are we doing here? Okay, so she's not actually giving me anything right now. Hmm. Did I choose the wrong wrong place to actually make a caravan? Maybe that's it? <laughs> if that would be the case, then that would be my luck, wouldn't it? All right, so hello there. You are a lord, and I would like to, uh, I would like to enter the surface, uh, service of Prince Ragandvad. And how would you serve us? Uh, my lord, I would pledge allegiance to you and be counted among your loyal followers. 
You need to talk to our leader on the matter. He's currently near Varchek. Oh, I like that. I like that quality of life improvement where they're actually telling you where the guy is without you having to speak to him and say, hey, where's this guy? You know, that actually makes a huge deal of sense. Okay. So, Varchek, right? Varchek, where is that? Where is that? Okay, that is all the way over here. Oh, well, that shouldn't be too bad to get over there pretty quick. I'm kind of... Uh, I, I don't know. I'm kind of a little bit uh, worried about the fact that I'm losing 500 gold per day. And uh, that is not changing anytime soon. I, I don't know how long it's actually been since I have created the caravan. So it might very well be that I just need to wait a little bit longer. I'm going to just auto-resolve this. And that was a very easy victory for us. Okay, I'm not going to be taking any peasants. And we will just take all of the loot. Oh, nice. Another Sumter horse as well. As you can see, we're actually having 4,650 space in our army at the moment, which is pretty fantastic. Or, shall we say, in our inventory. And how are my party doing? Yes, they seem to be doing quite, quite good. So let's just level those guys up. Oh, very nice. Yes, we're starting, we're starting to get there, you know? As I saw, there was a comment recently... There was a comment, uh, what, what was it now? It was, uh, we're not getting better, we're just getting a little bit less worse. And that's true. <laughs> that is wholeheartedly true. So I'm, I'm very happy to say that we are getting less worse than, uh, than beforehand. Because let's face it, you know, we are getting less worse. And uh, it's actually quite, quite good. Ooh, 47. Hello. C can, I, uh, can I win this? Can I win this with an auto-resolve? Do I want to do an auto-resolve against 47? Probably not. So let's just attack them manually and see what we can do. We're actually outnumbering them quite heavily in terms of combat strength, as well as in, in terms of numbers as well. So I think we should be okay. So don't think we should really have to worry about anything. Let's go into shield wall formation. Let's tell them to go and stand over there. Is there anything else I can do to make them be a little bit... Uh, oh, I can actually delegate commands as well. Ooh, yes, let's try that out. Oh, infantry is just charging. Cavalry is charging. And ranged is charging. Okay, so that's what the AI thinks it should do, because uh, that's actually a new new setting in Bannerlord, where you can actually have your people decide what they want to do. And uh, they decided to charge in, which is, I guess, actually fine for them to do so because let's face it the looters are not exactly the greatest units in the world and they're pretty easy to kill even though we are actually losing a couple of people now as a result of that i want to see what happened though you know i really wanted to see what happened because i think it's quite fun to let the ai decide what it wants to do by itself eh, come on now. there we go take him down ah uh, no <laughs> Ah, okay. Throne weapons. The old the old throne weapons. Okay, let me see if I can just lead this guy a little bit. There we go. And I think that hit him where the sun doesn't shine. i got to say sorry for that. Yes. Anyway, there you go. That battle was won very easily. Nice. Nice little bit of renown. We're gaining good renown every single time we do one of these. And we're also gaining a huge amount of prisoners too, which is also great. Because that levels up our trade skill, levels up our roguery and everything. It's always good. Always good. Oh yeah, there's actually a spiked mace in my inventory now because I actually just gained that. And someone said that the spiked mace is actually really good. As you can see, it's actually a lot better than what I'm currently using. So I think what I'm going to do... Oh, it actually has blunt damage. Oh yes. This is much better than what I was using beforehand. Okay. Very pleased. Okay, yes, very good. Uh, is there anything else here that I want to keep? Well, yeah, I mean, most of it I want to keep for a variety of different reasons. Smithing being one of them, of course. So, I think that's fine. And let's go into Varchek. I think he is near here, or is he here? I guess we'll find out. Vidar's party is here, but that's basically it. Right. Well, let's go into the smithy first, because I would like to smelt a couple of things down. I still don't have an... Oh, okay, apparently I need I need to actually wait here for some time. Okay, I guess I'll do that. Alright, so we now have 100 energy to spend, and uh, we're probably going to do a little bit of this. So, let's just try and get all of these things 
out of my inventory. Good amount of stuff right there. And then we can refine it. So let's get a little bit more charcoal. And I have no more energy. Let's get some more troops. And I would like to be able to go into the keep, but that is 1400. That is way too much for my liking. Uh, right. Okay, well, uh, wait a minute. Caravan? No, no. I, w I would like to speak to a lord, but uh, it seems like it's getting very difficult for me to find anyone. So I guess what I'm going to do is I will end this episode of here, and I will attempt to try and find the uh, liege in question, and I will try to uh, try to start the episode at, uh, at his conversation. So anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.